Hey, hi everyone. Welcome back to another video on Java for Selenium. In this video, we'll mainly discuss the loop controls, how we can use the different kind of loop and where to use these loops. So first of all, we'll discuss what is loop, for loop, while loop and do while loop. So we have three kind of loops in Java that is coming from Java 1.1. So when Java started long back, they introduced three different kind of loops for loop, while loop and do while loop. And later on they added after Java 1.5, they added one more loop called enhanced for loop or you can say for each loop. This loop is little bit advanced and we will use this once we move forward to the array or some um, advanced topic. So this enhanced for loop they added after Java 1.5. So if you are using Java 1.4 and below, you will not be able to use it since we are using Java 1.8 you can easily use this and I will show you where to use this enhanced for loop and what is the advantages then we'll talk about uh, the different examples so first of all loop so loop is a very old concept it's coming from long back from your C C++ so it's a general concept which will allow you to run your certain piece of code multiple times depends on your requirement and the name itself is loop. So for example, let's say you need to read a hundred set of records from Excel sheet. You can run a for loop or while loop. You need to fetch 500 records from a database. You need to fetch all the details from the students database. You can have multiple scenarios. So depends on the usage you need to use this. So let's use the for loop first. It's a widely used for loop. Syntax will be like first you have to specify for for the keyword then you need to initialize a variable give the condition and after initialization you need to give the semicolon condition again semicolon and increment decrement and your main logical uh, main logic will come inside this curly braces so let me show you the first loop go back to your program sorry package and this i will say loops demo package name I'm giving loops demo I will create my first program for loop demo take public static void main let's say I need to print <coughs> a number from 1 to 20 or 2200 right now i'm taking very basic example just to show you the concepts once we move forward you will notice we will use these concepts for designing our framework so i will write for and you will notice whenever i will write for it is highlighting in a different color because these are the reserved keywords in java i will initialize a variable say int i equal to zero let's say one i less than equal to 20 and i plus plus what is this i plus plus every time i want to increment this value by one so if i print this let's say i will say i value r plus i so as you can see once i run this code first for loop will start with int i equal to zero and it will print Sorry, uh, just a small change here. I equal to 1, then it will check if 1 is less than equal to 20. If yes, then it will execute this code. Once this code is executed, it will go and it will increment by 1. I plus plus equal to I equal to I plus 1. So I value will be 2. Again, it will check 2 is less than equal to 20. Yes, then it will go inside this for loop and it will print I equal to 2. It will increment by 1 again. I value will be 3. 3 is less than 20 and yes. So it will keep executing until this condition is not false. So there will be one time when, when I value equal to 20. So when we check 20 less than 20, <coughs> it will say false and it will come out of this for loop. And I will say loop end. And before starting the loop, I will print loop started just to show you how exactly it works. So once you run your program, you will get the first print ln loop started. Then it will complete this loop and you will get this end loop here.
and you notice it started with <coughs> loop started 1 to 19. Now if you see why it went till 19 because I have given less here oh sorry less than but if I give less than equal to then definitely it, it will start with 1 to 20. So if I run this code again So yes, you can see it's starting with 1, ending with 20 and your loop ends. So this is very basic and <coughs> sorry. You can use this multiple times based on a requirement. So once you move forward, you will notice in framework we are going to use for loop and while loop both. So you can use i plus i equal to i plus 2 as well. Let's say you want to increment by 2, not by 1. So you can use i equal to i plus 2. So it will start with 1, then it, it will increment by 2, and so on. So you can use this multiple time effectively based on your requirement. Next loop will be your y loop. This is little bit, you can say, intelli uh, intelligent in nature because it will not blindly run your loop. First, it will check if that particular condition is true then only it will execute so now if you see the while loop while loop is another kind of for uh, another kind of loop control or loop statement and it will only execute if condition is true otherwise it will not execute that while loop at all so syntax will be while here w is small by mistake it is capital will give the condition if condition gets true then only it will execute the rest piece of code let me show you let me start publish static void main now i will first ch check uh, let's say marks let's say count by default count is 50 now I will write a condition if count is less than equal to 80 then print all the values from 50 to 80 now I need increment as well so I will say I plus plus or in other words you can say you have a movie theater of 80 members but currently you have only see uh, the total reserve seat is 50 so I will check here if the reserve ticket or you can say the total occupied seats are less than 80 then keep getting the values this is just an example but you can have multiple uh, examples in this particular for loop so it will check First of all, when you run your program, it will check count equal to 50. If 50 is less than 80, yes, it will print. Then it will increment by 1, so it will be 51. 51 is less than 80, yes, it will print again. Again, 52, 52 is less than 80. So like this, you can run it. So if I run this program, so it's printing from 50 till 79. If I make less than equal to, then it will run till 80 so you can see it's very handy to use so based on the requirement we will use this so let's take one selenium example again uh, let's say I have a requirement if excel sheet contains some rows then only run the while loop otherwise come out of the while loop or don't run at all but for loop will blindly execute from a certain limit uh, from starting point to a certain limit but while loop is little bit advanced or you can say uh, it contains the decision power if that particular condition satisfied then only it will execute the next and we don't use it uh, in selenium but if you want to know what is why uh, do while loop i will create a separate program So the another loop is do while loop. It is same as while loop, but in this loop, uh, the code or the you can say the logic will execute at least once. 
whatever we will write in the do, it will execute at least once and again it will check the condition. If that condition true, then it will run the rest while loop, otherwise it will not run. So let me run this. Uh, first let me write the code. So we will write, let's say I have a ticket number 75 and I will say do and here I will print current ticket number ticket and then I will write while here and I will say if ticket is less than equal to 100 and semicolon semicolon is very important until you don't keep semicolon it will throw you error and we need to do some increment as well right so what it will do first it will check 75 do at least will execute once it will say current ticket number is 75 then it will increment 76 while 76 is less than 100 yes it will execute this code it will again increment by 1 77 and it will keep running your code yes you can see so it's running so the do while loop will be mainly applicable in which first you have to run at least one uh, piece of code it doesn't matter whether your condition passed or failed you need to execute that code and if condition true then run the code so based on these three loop you need to decide which loop will be suitable for you but in selenium i will guide you which loop to use when i don't use this do while loop because we don't have such scenarios in selenium i will use for loop and while loop extensively in the framework designing and other parts as well so hope you are clear with the for loop while loop and do while loop let me do a quick recap so loop we have uh, covered like when you have to execute certain piece of code multiple times we'll take the help of loops so we have four kind of loop for loop while loop do while loop enhance for loop enhance for loop will cover in future so basic for loop you need to initialize the variables give the condition then increment or decrement in while loop this loop is little bit advanced it will only execute if a certain conditions are true this will be the syntax while condition and if condition gets true then it will execute and finally do while loop the difference between while and do while loop do at least will execute once and if condition satisfied it will continue with your while loop that's all i have for this video if you have any doubt let me know thank you so much have a nice day